ओके टीम सो वी आर बैक फॉर द रिज्यूमे फॉर एक्सपीरियंस पीपल ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दैट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल वी आर वेरी क्लोज टू फाइव थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स ओके एंड आई वुड ऑल्सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू चेक आउट द प्ले लिस्ट वे आर आई हैव ए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्ले लिस्ट विच इज थर्टी डेज ऑफ डेवॉप्स वे आर वी आर कवरिंग डेव से कॉप्स प्लस क्लाउड डेवॉप्स फ्रॉम स्क्रैच ओके सो एवरी सिंगल वीडियो यू विल फाइंड दियर एंड यू कैन वॉच इट ऑल्सो द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑल्सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड विच यू कैन फाइंड इन माई रिपोजिटरीज ओके दिस लुक्स नाइस सो इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू मेक दिस प्रोफाइल पेज प्रोफाइल रीड मी पेज फॉर योर ओन गिट हब ऑल्सो दैट ऑल्सो आई हैव मेक ए मेड ए सेपरेट वीडियो यू कैन फाइंड इट ऑल्सो ओके या सो कमिंग बैक टू रिपोजिटरीज दिस इज द थर्टी डेज ऑफ डेवॉप्स रिपोजिटरीज विच यू शूड डेफिनेटली फॉलो इट हैज द कम्प्लीट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन for all the topics that we have done till now okay okay so coming back to today's video today what we are going to do is create a resume for experienced people and this is the kind of resume that i have used in my uh, interviews okay and hopefully uh, within i think one and half month i got like uh, i gave actually 9 to 10 interviews which uh, uh, which was selected like solely based on this resume okay so i would request you to check this out okay okay so let me explain you what, how did i created everything i have created from scratch and let me explain you whatever things i have mentioned and how i have written those things okay so make sure to watch this video till end also once we have 100 likes on this video this resume i'll be sharing to you in doc format so that you can directly edit it as much as you want okay so coming back here okay so first of all like uh, I have simply written these things like details about myself, total experience, relevant experience, phone number, and email. If you look closely, the email is clickable link. So if I press control, I can just it will it gives the option to click. Okay, so that is a good feature. Secondly, whatever certifications you have done, obviously, if you are experienced person, recruiter is going to look for certifications because at this point of time, cloud certification is becoming mandatory as we move on. Okay. so for freshers is like is it 900 is mandatory but for experienced at least uh, three or two or three certifications you should have for example uh, i have four years of experience and total certification i completed is four okay azure fundamentals azure administrator associate azure devops engineer and azure solutions architect okay so this money i have collected and these if you are meant like putting your certifications in this format it is going to be really really uh, making sure that your resume stands out okay and that is the thing that is going to get you hired anywhere you go okay okay coming back to professional summary so in professional summary what you can write basically do not write like too many multiple lines so that uh, because obviously uh, recruiter is not going to read every single thing okay so three lines is i think is more than enough at this point okay so you can see i have written an accomplished and result oriented professional with 3 plus years of experience in it i should change this to 4 at this point okay so in it industry and uh, you can just mention like i was working in ci ct deployments i have done deployments to multiple environments okay so those things you can mention here okay coming back to technical skills i have always said and still i am saying make sure that you are mentioning your technical skills in the format of tabular form okay because it makes it much and much easier to view all these skills and gives you an advantage Keep from these skill sets only recruiter will ask questions. Okay, so if you have prepared uh, like properly, then it will be really beneficial for you to like answer from these skill sets. Okay, and uh, obviously you can even you can see that how how neat and clean this looks. All the skills are like clearly visible. Okay, these are basically my skills. Okay, and in my new course that is coming in August, I will be making sure that you also have these complete skill sets. Okay, okay, coming back to uh, this uh, work experience. Okay. so in my previous like uh, three or four years period whatever i did so i mentioned the general work what i used to do okay by general work what i ex what exactly i mean is uh, what exactly like uh, basic things what i was doing like deployment to azure kubernetes service uh, then we have azure infrastructure management creating document uh, sorry creating ci cd cd pipelines then good hands of experience on docker so those things whatever you have you can just write okay also just do not do not like write too much at this point i feel bad because i have written so many things okay because recruiter is not going to read every single thing okay so these things i have written next we have the projects okay projects is the most important part because recruiter 
will be first looking at the project because they want to know that you have actually work in a specific project okay so name i have changed at this point okay so here you can see even this i have put in tabular form because as i said this makes it very easy for the recruiter to understand and figure out what exactly the uh, the uh, uh, guy was doing in the project okay so first you can like create project one name of the project organization then tools and technology used then roles okay in responsibilities i have mentioned what exactly i was doing in that specific project okay so these things you can see if you want you can take a screenshot okay next we have project two so this was the cloud project which i was working with so in here also i have like mentioned whatever tools and technology i use what was my role and what exactly i was doing okay so if you look closely first thing i focused on writing as ci cd pipelines okay because because this is something this is ci cd pipeline is the backbone of uh, uh, devops so if you are going for interviews the first thing that you should mention ci cd pipeline because this this gives you an advantage key recruiter will ask from that okay and that is going to be really beneficial for uh, for you okay then i have mentioned deployment to aks azure infrastructure management using maven for building projects and those things okay so you can see like it's not too much but i have mentioned the most important task that i was doing in that specific cloud project okay but again when it comes to you you can mention in whatever way you like okay i i believe that mentioning uh, projects in tabular form is much easier for the recruiter to like read what exactly you are doing okay and it makes a good impact okay but here inside this section responsibilities you can write in whatever way you want you can put bullet points you can put numbers and you can put direct write in paragraph also it's okay it's uh, so like completely uh, like on your mind in what way you want to write okay coming to link c again we have like for example in case you have worked in multiple projects since i just mentioned uh, two or three projects okay if you have worked in multiple projects you can mention all those three okay and you can mention properly in but my suggestion i am like literally telling you again ki making things in tabular form it makes it much easier for everyone to see and understand okay then i have certifications and awards so at the point when i was giving interviews i had just three certifications the architect certification i recently completed so i have not mentioned it here but make sure that certifications plus awards you are mentioning okay if you have your experienced person you might definitely gotten some award in your company even if you have not gotten i would suggest ki write something like this so that it leaves a good impact ki okay this guy was getting awards and because nobody is going to verify ki if you are getting awards or not okay so you can just write something for example i see these two i actually got i'm i'm not faking it so these two i actually got okay and so you but but my suggestion definitely write something because it leaves a good impact okay then again education for for freshers now educations we are mentioning in the uh, beginning but for experience we are mentioning the uh, education thing at the end of the uh, cv okay so as you can see this actually went for uh, three pages okay so at the time i was use i was three years experience last year so i was Uh, having around like just two pages of resume but if you like if you are two years th uh, if you are three years or four years experience you can go with three years th three pages also it's fine okay because and and see certain things i would tell you ki make sure you are mentioning the things that you have actually worked on mentioning the skills which you have actually worked on okay also you don't need to worry because soon i will be making a video in which i will guide you how to prepare for interviews in 10 days or so okay so there it will be a proper series which i'll be making okay so yeah and as i mentioned that uh, this resume this document format i will just share it to you uh, once we have like around 100 likes on this video as soon as we get it it will be shared to you okay and you can see this is what it looks like in the uh, pdf format okay and do not do not notice this number because it is just 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 okay yeah so this is how we should be making a resume for experienced people and i hope this video was useful if it was then give it a like if not then you can dislike also it's fine okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day